pretty teeth, perfect tan. Looking from the outside, no one usually cares what she has within. Living this life sometimes can be a challenge. She can't choose just one path. She has too much talent. You're so bright. Look at your height. Girl, you seem like you my type. You sure your daddy ain't white? I just don't understand why you're so light. But when I talk to you, you have me as high as a kite. Even though you're light skinned, you could be somebody that I like. All these comments be getting me slick tight. Oh, you bougie stuck up and shallow. It makes me want to hit you in your throat and make it hard to swallow. It's a shady area being a part of a community that compares trauma like it's a competition. The seeds of intersectional discrimination was planted when they took her from her bed in the nighttime and forced her to lay there. Looked in her eyes, took her innocence, and penetrated her until she was unconscious. Nine months later, another house slave, a slave nonetheless. Don't think that just because we weren't in the same place that my hurt was, wasn't just as disgusting as yours. They still made me feel just as worthy as the dirt. Light skin, curly hair, full lips. My ancestors forgot to give me full hips, but it's okay though. I love them for sure. They the reason I'm here and that's love overflow. It's actually pretty crazy when you think about it. My people always yelling about this country's division, but to be honest, we ain't no different. Light skin, brown skin, dark skin, why are we still being put into boxes similar to when our people were being brought over here? Now, isn't that ironic? I plan to bring us all together, blur the lines, then they'll see that I'm really just that iconic. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be somebody that I'm not being around 10 or 11 felt like heaven. I would try some things just to see if I fit in. Similar to actresses, I see myself acting in and out of character just to have a friend. I was only a kid. Do you comprehend or do I need to come again? I'd belittle my intellect just to be the one that they select. I was smart as hell and they wasn't feeling that too well. I hid in plain sight, a master of disguise, all because of those around me otherwise would despise. Those other girls didn't like me, but I saw them as my sisters. Those boys my age looked over me. They didn't want to be my mister. <laughs> Preconceived notions of what it all meant. You're not the only one who got bullied for the way that you look. Family broke me down and took. All the love that I had inside, they made me feel like I was going out of my mind. I'd always try to fix myself for the way that they made me feel. They were sick and I was ill. Yeah, I know I'm probably giving you chills and even after that, I have to kill. That hate festered and had me scared to speak my truth, not wanting confrontation from everyone around me. They would make it seem like my story had no weight compared to theirs and would continue to minimize mine. We have it worse. You don't understand. You're barely black. Look at you, just white. I knew they weren't right. But what do you do when it's tra a trauma war in your own backyard? We're supposed to be one. Genetics did this in the same way they say the whites made them feel inferior and ugly. They turn around and do it to their own. With the disagreements and the secrets, no one can have a chance to say who won. One day, I spoke up, looked left, then right, got put down, laughed at, and clown. They chewed me up and spat me out. Was I wrong for standing up for how I saw the world through my light brown eyes? Picked on for my lips, my teeth, and my collarbones. Now they bleaching their skin to fit my tone. I never cared about what I looked like on the outside. I knew it didn't matter. I had to learn quick that some people are going to look at me and automatically think, yeah, she's a bright skinned vanilla flavored cookie monster. I always preach to do what makes you happy, but don't start hating yourself even if it is a little nappy. No, I don't know what it's like to walk in your shoes, so don't get me confused. Neither of us had the chance to choose. Stop jumping to conclusions about me and just come, <laughs> excuse me, and just come get what might be a flash of news now when they look at me they'd be like wow who knew don't hate me because i don't hate you we have more in common than you think so please don't let our differences make us sink i'm asking so i can tell you from one sister to the next that baby i'm not a threat <laughs>